Hey builders, Brick Ratty up here with a review of my first Brick Mania figure being the Nafo Fellas figure. The packaging for this figure has the Ukrainian flag with some yellow and blue on the front, which continues on the back as well. A bunch of different warnings and information about the product. This figure was sold as part of the Brick Mania Ukrainian benefit, but doesn't have any information about it on packaging, which is a bit weird, I would say. One thing about the packaging that I really appreciate is that there's clear plastic on both sides of the blister. That way you can see both sides of the printing of the figure. I think this would be very helpful in their retail stores, being able to decide which figures you want or not, just based on how it looks all the way around the figure. And here is the Nafo fella himself. Comes with one accessory being a Brick Arms bat, I believe, that it has some really nice printing that says Super Bonker 9000. On top of that, it also ends up having some wood grain that is kind of printed all around it to make it seem more realistic, and some electrical style tape wrapping around the bat. And just something to note about this figure, it is UV printed, which is a little bit different than what LEGO uses. Honestly, looking at it, I really can't tell the difference for this figure. I know a lot of the time that that UV printing can end up being a bit rough and you can definitely feel the texture on it, but for this it's very smooth, which I'm very impressed with. Features a custom made head that is of a uh, doge, which is kind of funny. It's one of the main reasons why I bought this figure. I really don't have much interest in military style figures, but having something funny like a doge in a tracksuit is good enough for me to pull the trigger and buy this. Again, matching the packaging, it has that blue and yellow, which is Ukrainian flag colors, and it features some striping on the side because it is supposed to be Adidas branded, but they don't have the Adidas logos on them. And overall, the printing of this figure is a bit off to me. Looking at it, it has Decent enough printing, but having the weird shading kind of throws the look off for me. I definitely think this figure could benefit from less printing, honestly, which is something that's kind of weird to say. There's just not a lot of color blending. Maybe if they had done some pointillism style printing just to have the color blend into that bright blue from the dark blue a little bit better. But I do like the white lines. Those definitely look good. And having the Chew print is also a good look. But again, it's just those dark blues and then the really dark yellows that just don't look very good when they're next to each other. Even as printing on the inside of the torso, which is good. And another downside to this figure is that head kind of. Compared to the pictures on the website, it doesn't really match completely. The ears in the advertisement pictures, it's supposed to have white and gray on the inside. And it just has a very light coat of white. So it's almost mis-advertised on their website, which is kind of not cool. But for a custom molded head, it actually comes off really easily compared to some other ones. See the inside there. I really appreciate that. I know a lot of Citizen Brick custom heads have, from my experience, a hard time being put on and being taken off. But this one, it's very easy. The way that the head is molded, it sits pretty flush with the torso. It has a bit of an indent as I kind of showed off. You can move it around a bit, but it doesn't sit as flat as you might like it. So it is kind of at the best right in the front. For a quick color reference, here is the head on a reddish brown torso and legs. It is a bit lighter, but in the right lighting and positioning, it might not be super easy to tell the difference between the two colors. And for a final verdict, this figure is definitely unique, but it has some weird shortcomings that I just can't get behind with the face print really not matching what was advertised in the picture and the listing. And another weird thing is when I opened the packaging, it had a very weird smell to it. I don't have any other Brickmania figures, so I can't compare it to those. But it might just be because the head is spray painted. The bat though is really great. That's a really fun accessory. I would maybe hold off on this figure unless you have a strong connection to Doge. But I do have to give credit to Brickmania for coming up with a unique figure design like this. It isn't something that should be easy to translate into plastic, but they did do somewhat of a decent job getting it here. I do think some things could have been improved, but it is recognizable if you know what it's supposed to be. I wish I could give this figure a better review, 
but I'm not 100% impressed with this figure. Hopefully that you found this video helpful. I've been Brick Radiop, and I'll see you in the next video.